Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is which molecule contains codons and many of you would be able right away to tell the answer that messenger RNA has codons and tRNA has anticodons but some of you would also say that they saw um, tables which are DNA tables which also contains codons so for those people who are confused I want to make this video today and clarify your confusion. Take a look, imagine that this is messenger RNA and here is a 5 prime end and 3 prime end. And let's imagine we have here certain sequence which is going to be A, U, G. And here is going to be tRNA which is going to have anticodon. Adenine corresponds with uh, uracil so uracil here, uracil corresponds with adenine, guanine corresponds with cytosine. But because this is third position in the messenger RNA, actually it is not that important. Usually in tRNA here we can find any nucleotide and still it's going to specify the same amino acid. So amino acid we can find here and if we have 5 prime and here and 3 prime and here. What is going to be orientation of this tRNA? So if we stretch it, we should have 5 prime and here, 5 prime and and 3 prime and. And in anticodon, this is going to be first position. So if messenger RNA third position is wobble position, in tRNA first position is going to be wobble position. But let me still put cytosine here in order not to confuse you that uh, we only have two nucleotides in anticodon. Actually it's three but the first one can be in most cases any. Now imagine that here we have double stranded DNA and this double stranded DNA here forms transcription bubble. How do we call this strand of the DNA? We call it template strand of the DNA. Take a look. For example, we have xymine, adenine and cytosine here. Then on the messenger RNA, we are going to have adenine, uracil and guanine here. And what sequence we are going to have on this strand of the DNA? It's going to be complementary to this DNA strand. So the sequence is going to be A, T and G. How do we call this strand of the DNA? We call this coding strand of the DNA. Why? Because sequence of this strand is going to be the same as sequence of the messenger RNA. With one exception that in messenger RNA, xymine is substituted with uracil, which is just modified xymine. And take a look. If we have 5 prime end here on the messenger RNA, what end is going to be on this template strand of the DNA? It's going to be 3 prime end and 5 prime end. 5 prime end on the coding strand of the DNA and 3 prime end here. And as you see, these ends correspond to the uh, those on the messenger RNA. That's why we call this coding strand of the DNA because not only sequence is going to be the same as on the messenger RNA but also orientation of uh, sequence is going to be the same. One more example of the codon. Let's say we have here sequence C, C and G. Then here we will have G, G and C. And we will have G, G and C here. As you see, sequence here and here is the same. Hence the name coding strand of the DNA. Now back to a choice of our answers. When we see DNA codon table, this is going to be this codons, which basically the same codons as in messenger RNA with only single exception that uracil would be here uh, substituted with xymine. And do you think that sequence that is here, because this is going to be codons, would be called anticodons? No, anticodons only going to be sequence that we can find in the tRNA. And sometimes we also can find 
tables which contains this sequence of the nucleotides but it's also going to be called uh, codon sequence but would be specified that this is going to be template codon sequence. And of course you should understand that tRNA doesn't attach by itself to messenger RNA. We also should uh, show here large ribosomal subunit and small ribosomal subunit. About 50% of the ribosome is made of ribosomal RNA and 50% is made by proteins. So some of you may also wonder does ribosomal RNA also contains codons? No, this RNA, ribosomal RNA is a type of structural RNA and doesn't code for anything and we also can uh, call it scaffold RNA. Now you have deep understanding of this topic and can we find codons in DNA? Yes, we can find, especially if it is coding strand of the DNA. Can we find in the messenger RNA? Yes. Can we find in tRNA? No, because this is going to be anticodons and no codons at all in ribosomal RNA. But we have to choose only one answer and this is going to be answer B. In messenger RNA we can find codons and most of the tables, codon tables, if you search Google would be 95% messenger RNA codons or in other 5% it's going to be DNA coding strand codons which is going to be the same sequence with one of these exceptions that I mentioned before. And on the very extreme exceptions we can find codon tables which specifies codons on the template strand of the DNA but you will find that it's going to specify that this is template strand codons. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.